Hey everybody, it's Sable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use APKs with an emulator. There is a game I'm very excited for that's coming out next week as of the recording of this video called Awaken Chaos Era, and the developers there are supporting emulators as well as providing an APK file, which is awesome. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that, but first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So let's take a look at this. So this game is coming out next week. Now this this works for any game that you want to play, really, and whatever APK file you can get for a game. Some games in soft launch, some games you may not have access to through your original store. But right now, we're going to be talking about Awaken Chaos Era. This game is coming into soft launch between the 22nd and the 28th. We haven't had a date narrowed down just yet. It is available for M Android and emulators. Now, just because you're on an iOS device doesn't mean that you cannot play this game because emulators are supported, they're openly supported, and the developer is providing an APK file, which is essentially the game file you need in order to play this game. Now, Soft Launch is going to be available in these areas if you are in these regions. Canada, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, you can go ahead and just jump into your store when the game is available, download it, play it, have a good time. Again, this is Soft Launch. Global launch is going to be coming a little bit later down the line. But the cool thing is, like I said, the APK link is going to be provided on the official ACE website. We're expecting that website to go live once the soft launch goes live. So just a heads up there. So let's take a look at how, how you use APK files and your emulator. So for me, I'm going to show two emulators today, Bluestacks 5 as well as LD Player. Both of these are the 64-bit versions. Um, for me, I'm very partial to Bluestacks 5. I use that quite a bit. So let's go ahead and jump into Bluestacks 5. I will show you a LD player as well. They're very, very, well, they're exactly the same, really. If we take a look at this, if you look up here um, in Bluestacks 5, and actually I don't know if it shows it, but there is a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. I suggest the 64-bit version. I will have links in the description below if you would like to download an emulator. Now, emulators are specific to Android devices. They are not specific to iOS. So just keep that in mind there. The cool thing is, is playing soft launch, and even though you're playing through an emulator or Android, link it to a Facebook account or what other option they have to link your account. That way, if you're on iOS or any other device that you want to link to, you can download the game to that device, link it to Facebook or any other option that is available there. And then you can bounce back and forth between the two devices. If you want to play your computer for a while, that's fine. Boom, there. Then you can transfer over to your mobile device, play over there, and your progress is going to be saved. So keep that in mind. All right, so the APK file is going to be available on the website. You're going to go ahead and download it wherever you download it. Then you're going to go over here in Bluestacks 5 and take a look at this right here. Nope, not trim memory. Where is it? Right here, install APK. Now, if you take a look at LD Player right here, it's the same thing right over here on the right hand side apk install apk so you're going to do you're going to do the same thing for both let's go ahead go into bluestacks 5 hit apk it's going to bring up the file wherever you download them i just leave it at default it goes into the down, uh, the downloads file let's go ahead we'll download uh heroes mobile idle adventure let's go ahead and download that we'll give it a second boom right there heroes mobile game Boom, click on it, and it's gonna go ahead and launch the game for you. Same thing is gonna happen with um, Awaken Chaos Era. And then that's it. That's really all that you need to do. It's gonna load um, as updates come out. There'll be new files that'll be available, so keep an eye on the newest file. But really, that's all it is. It's really easy, really simple to play these games, and I do like the fact that they have it open for everybody. Sometimes some games are region locked, so this won't work unless you have a VPN. You are not going to need a VPN though for Awaken Chaos Era. So just kind of a heads up there. All you gotta do is download your emulator. When the APK file is available, you're gonna load the APK file and then you're just gonna have fun with the game. Then when it globally launches, you're not gonna have to worry about it. However, I like playing with emulators. It's kind of fun just playing it on my computer, especially when I do streaming or make videos or anything like that. And that is it. That's all there is to it. Um, it's very simple to download these files. It's very simple to just play on your emulators. And then, like I said, if you link it to a Facebook account 
or other options that the game may have for linking your account. You just do the same thing for the device that you want to play it on, and you're going to go back and forth, and you're not going to skip a beat. You're going to have fun. You're going to have your progression bounce back and forth between the devices, and you're going to have a good time. All right, everybody, that's what I have for you. Just a really quick video on how to use APK files and your emulators. I will have links in the description below for some emulators if you'd like to use those. Uh, but that is it. Very interesting thoughts. What do you think about this? What do you think about Awakened Chaos Era? This works for anything that you want to do out there that is available. So have a fun time with that. All right, everybody. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. Am I talking fast enough? <laughs> and leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody. And we'll talk to you next time.